How you guys doing? Hey, big boy. Okay, welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how to do a flag template that you can use over and over and, and basically be able to change images in the in the flag. And it's a good it's a good template for making multiple different kinds of flags. So we'll go right up here to create a new file. And the, we're going to be single sided, 30 inches wide, 16 inches high. And we're going to change this to one and a half inches thick. And that's going to allow for the 3D model. We're going to go from the material surface, XY, lower left hand corner. We're going to do very high resolution and hit OK. Next up, I'm going to make this easy. So we're going to go up here and import a bitmap. And I already got this flag of the United States in a PNG file. We're going to click on that, hit open. Now we're going to select the flag. And we'll see if we can't. I want to stretch it out. There we go. And we'll grab the little cursor right around this dot right here and get it stretched out. Now I want to cover the cover the material pretty good. So I want to go a little bit past it so that when it cuts it out, it doesn't leave anything. Right there. And we'll come up here and we'll stretch this one just a little bit right there. Okay. All right, that looks good. So our next step is to, we'll highlight it again. And we'll go up here to trace bitmap to vectors. We're going to convert this into a bitmap. So we're going to click on the little bird. Takes a minute to open up. And we're going to, uh, you got your choice of color or black and white. Obviously, we got a color flag. So we're going to put color and we're going to start off. We're going to do a blue color and we're going to do a red color and we're going to do a white color. And that should give us all of our lines. And we'll preview it. And that gets us all of our lines and we'll hit apply. And then we'll hit close. Now what we need to do is click on the picture itself and delete it. And that leaves us with this. Now, it looks like I want to move these stars over just a little bit. So I'm going to select the whole bitmap and I'm going to move it just a little bit. And that looks good. So I escape out of there. Now I want to, these right now, these are all connected. So what we need to do is transform them. So we're going to ungroup all the objects. Then we're going to take and highlight the stars first. Now I already see something wrong with these stars. If you zoom in, there's two lines on these stars, and we're going to be v-carving these, so we need to erase this inner line. So let's go ahead and delete that, and we'll just go down the road and delete each one of these inner inner circles or inner lines. Because if you if you were to v-carve that, it would just v-carve in between those lines. So we want to get rid of all those lines. Now, once you once you create this template, you you're never going to have to do this again unless you delete it by accident. And the nice thing about this particular template that I like is I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to just click on this file and put different 3D models into this or, or just different, you know, you can put anything you want inside of the template. But, but the flag itself will remain the same all, at all times. And that's, that saves a lot of time in the future. Although this takes a little bit of time to get rid of these lines. I guess I could have brought in a little better one, but this, this, this resolution on this one was pretty good. So I think by the time I clean it up, I'll be really happy with it. 
And we just go down the line. We got 50 of them to do. This is actually the hardest part about this whole drawing is this 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 part right here. Everything else is super easy. The tool paths are easy. And it turns out really nice. But you do have to always clean things up a little bit, make make sure you know you don't have any odd shapes in there that you are going to cause problems when you go to carve it. And of course, when you do when you start doing your tool pass, it's going to tell you right away, hey, you got a bunch of problems. You know, you got open vectors or you you know, it'll tell you. So that's the kind of nice thing about the software. It's it's very helpful. And the previews, you can really you can really dive in on the previews and zoom in and see what kind of what kind of cuts they're getting cut. And I like that about it too. So on this uh, on this video, I actually am using a different recording software, and hopefully it's going to record everything on the screen. A couple times. I did a cut my first two videos where I recorded the screen. It would record it would record the the left hand side over here, but then when I switched to Toolpath, it didn't record it. And I, and I think it's it makes it a lot nicer if people can see, you know, how you're doing the Toolpaths because that's how I learned was watching other people also. And shit, we still got ten more. And then I also added this uh, this highlighted cursor. I thought, let me know what you think in the comments. I thought I thought that would make it easier for people to see where where I was at when I was do working on the drawing. And of course, in the future, we'll be we'll be doing two things in each video. We'll be drawing it, and then we'll be taking it right over to the machine and cutting it, it all in one video. And that's my goal: is every time I do a project. I take it through from the drawing right to the machine. And it's going to help me learn more. And if anybody else wants to see it, you know, it'll help them too. And I, I usually try to, if I make mistakes, I like to show that too because you can, um, and I make a lot of mistakes. Okay, now we have our stars all fixed. We're going to highlight it. We're going to group it together. And that's it. Okay, we're out of there. Now we're going to, if you look, there's a few other problems. We got a couple extra lines up here. And I see a double line right here. And is there any more double lines? Oh, we get rid of this bottom one. And we don't need this box, actually. So we get rid of that. And there, that's that's our drawing. Now we're going to import a circle because the way I'm going to do this template, we're going to do a 14, a seven inch radius, but it's going to be 14 inches across. We'll click that, click, highlight the circle and move the circle where we want it. Now I'm going to put it Trying to snap. Uh, let's go with that. And then side to side. Right there. Okay. We'll escape out of that. Now we want to cut these lines inside this circle. And the way you do that, let's zoom in, make sure we don't. Yeah, there's a little one right there. So the way you do that, select it. And of course, we can't see anything right now. Select that, shift, and let's select all these down to there. Then 
So you always have to select the lines first. Now we're going to select the circle. Then we're going to go over here to Trim, Selected Objects, and click on that. And we're going to do, you could clear the outside or you clear the inside. Obviously, we want to clear the inside, so we clear, and there you go. Now, this drawing is done now. And so if you were to, actually, no, it's not. We're going to, we're going to, um, right, select, we want to group these, these things together. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and group those. Okay. So right here, we're actually at the point where we could start carving, but, but you wouldn't want to, what you want to do is save this and and save it as uh, your template, your flag template. So I've already got one saved, so I'm not, I don't need to save this one. So we'll go right from here. And let's say we just uploaded this. It came in just like this. Now we're going to go to clip art. And we're going to put an eagle in there. An eagle's head. Or actually, let's put this... Uh, Let's try a different one this time. Let's try this eagle. You know, the only problem with this one, it's, it's an oval. So I'm not going to use that one. It needs to be a round, a round one. There we go. So, and then I just have to size this up to the size of that circle. And actually that looks good. Okay, now we can go straight over to our carving tools. The first thing we're gonna carve is the stars. So I highlight the stars, we'll hit V carve. Now start depth is zero. We're gonna use a V-bit 90 degree half inch. We don't need any clearance tools. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna write um, V-carve 90 degree half inch. That way I'll remember next time. And then calculate. Preview visible toolpath and there's your stars. So we'll close that, go back, we'll click out of that. Now we're going to do our stripes. We're going to do a pocketing toolpath. It'll end up using two bits just because of the sharp corners in there, and that's fine. And start depth zero. That's all fine. And, count. and hit OK. Preview visible toolpath. And that looks good. And you can see how it's going to cut out. I really like this, this uh, template, actually. OK, next up is the, the 3D Eagle. So we're going to click out of that, click our 3D Eagle. We're going to do a roughing toolpath. And we're going to need to make sure you select Model Boundary. And this is going to start out with a quarter inch in mill, 0 0.04 machining allowance. That allows 0 0.04 for the finishing. And we'll do 3D roughing, quarter inch in mill, and hit calculate. And we'll go ahead and preview that one. And close. We then go back to the 2D view. Back up here, it's already still highlighted, so we're going to do our finishing toolpath. Eighth inch ball nose, model boundary again. And this time we're going to do raster. And we're going to calculate. That takes a little more time, not too much, but you can see it's going, it's, it's going. And then we'll preview that tool path. And you can see the detail, and there's your flag. And the nice thing is, now look at that. That looks really cool. Although we're missing, we're, we're missing part of a stripe here. Why is that? Yeah, 
Yeah, something went wrong there. I can see a few, I can see a few problems already. But we'll close out of that. We'll actually go out of there. We'll leave the tool pass for now. And we're going to go back here and we're going to zoom in. And there's that open vector that, that we need to, so we're going to have to explode this again. So highlight it, ungroup it, ungroup it. Now we're going to zoom, exit out of there. We're going to zoom in and get rid of this line. And I don't know why this one, let's, let's delete the circle for now. Oh, oh, that's connected to that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Yeah. Okay. So it's good to show your, show your mistakes too. So what I needed to do here was I needed to highlight this circle and go up to drawing and offset the circle by a quarter inch. So you can see that now what I needed to do was erase the outside one, delete that. Now you can see it connected all that stuff together. So let's start over. So we're going to go to our, um, let's, let's close these back up. And so we have a problem right there. It's showing us the problem. Oh, it doesn't look like a problem, but let's delete that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, there, I see another problem right there. So you really got to kind of look around. Okay, that looks good. So we can go back. We can go back to our toolpath now. And let's delete all these toolpaths and start over. Okay, we're going to reset our preview. Reset. And put it on the face. Go to our 2D view. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, we got our click out of there. We're going to highlight the stars again. Close. V carve. No clearance tool. Calculate. Then we're going to go close that. We're going to go back to 2D view. Click out of that. Highlight it. So now here I got to regroup these again. Make sure these are all grouped. And I forgot to hold the shift key down, hold the shift key down. And group objects. Okay. So those are grouped now. So now we're going to do a pocketing toolpath. Same, all the same bits, quarter inch in mill, eighth inch in mill. And calculate. And there we are. We won't preview that yet. We'll go ahead and close. Now we're going to go back to the 2D view and we're going to highlight. Well, it still didn't cut that. Why didn't it cut that? Something is wrong right there. Huh, doesn't look bad, but yeah, you see how that one has a start point there. Oh.
Okay, let's see if that fixed that. So we're gonna we're gonna delete the toolpath, start over. We're going to reset the preview. That's the nice thing about previews. If you didn't have, if you weren't able to re to look at the preview, you wouldn't have noticed that that stripe was missing. So right now we're going to select the stars, close, V carve the stars, no clearance tool, calculate. Then we'll go back. We're going to go back and highlight the stripes again and see if we now. I, I need to group this one with these other ones. Huh. Why is that one not jagged? So there's still a problem with this one right here. Don't know what it is. It looks just like all the others. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you just got to work at it a little bit. Okay, we're going to do a pocket tool path. Hopefully this works this time. Quarter inch depth, end mill, eighth inch. And good. Calculate. It says two open vectors. Let's try it anyway. Yeah, it still missed it. So we have some kind of problem going on with this stripe. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's see. No, we can't do that. Maybe it's right here in the end. I don't know why. I don't know if that worked. We'll have to see. Close, reset, delete, reset preview, 2D view, okay. Now we're going to highlight these again, see if we can't group them together again. Okay, that seemed okay. So if we highlight those, let's do those first so we don't have to. So we'll do a pocket tool path. All the same calculations, quarter inch, eighth inch, calculate. It still has something wrong there, son of a bitch. And I have no idea at this point. I mean, I see nothing wrong with it.
So there's the two open vectors right there. So what I did is I went up to this vector validator and connected those, those. So now, if we escape out of there, close, it's still doing some weird stuff. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. All right. So I'm showing you the good with the bad. So we have been having a few problems here, but I'm going to go ahead and show that anyway. So now we're back to carving. I'm going to start with these again because um, first I'm going to group them together. They're highlighted. We'll go ahead and do a pocket carving and see if this will work this time. Still has an open vector somewhere, but that time it cut it cut this upper stripe, so we're good. So we'll close that, and we'll go over here and do our stars, and we'll v-carve our stars. Ninety and a half grit, zero, everything pretty much the same. Oh, got a no no clearance tool, and calculate, and then we'll go over here and close that. Highlight that, highlight our eagle, and roughing toolpath. Model boundary, calculate, and close. Next up is a, the finishing toolpath. Eighth inch ball nose, model boundary again, raster, and calculate. and preview all to pass. Okay, this video ended up a little too long because of the troubles I was having, but I do, it's it's kind of nice to show even the heart, the, the bad things. So here it is all fixed, and basically we'll be able to save this for, for a, um, a future carving. And yeah, and it looks pretty good. The detail is pretty nice, actually. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, outlaw woodworking. I'm sorry this one was a little bit long, but you did learn a few of my a few. You, you can have mistakes, and uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Later.